Greetings and welcome to a Real Firm Analysis number three. Today we will be reviewing Alone by 3YMZ featuring Veils and Lilac Eyes. Before we get into it, I just want to say this is the third of the three that were sent in when I did a quick little experimental uh, call to action on the Instagram. So if you're watching this, if I haven't already, I will soon be putting out a Instagram story again in the same fashion. Send in your track if you want it to get reviewed on in this type of format. Now that the word is kind of spread around, more people know what I'm doing. I'm assuming I'll get more than three, but I don't know what's going to happen. So if you want it, reviewed definitely submit it just know that i may have to pick uh, random tracks at the beginning because if there's over like 10 and i only do two a week then it'll take a while to go through each of them in the order i receive them so yeah we're gonna we're gonna do another experiment but this one probably will have a larger pool of submissions also i've had some people reach out saying they would be willing to prioritize a submission uh, much like in the way they would on the live stream. I'm open to that. I'm still thinking about how that would go down, but um, we can talk about it for now. I just want to experiment with this format, picking them at random if there's a lot. Send in your track. If you see the Instagram story, don't just send it in at random. And there will be a specific like subject line in the email, so I know it's for this. And without further ado, let's get into... Oh yeah. Fun light in the background. Just set that up, experimenting with that. It's a little, looks a little whack, out of focus, and with the light, sunlight coming through the windows, but it's a good start. Alone by 3YMZ, Lilac Eyes and Veils. This is a track I have heard a number of times on the upcoming artist radio live streams, so I'm quite familiar with it, but I haven't been able to delve as deep as I could in the live stream, so this is the time for that. Let's uh, let's let's get into it. All right, we're on the Spotify here. I hear it for the first time in uh in probably a week or so. Alone now, stuck in your house, and I feel sad. JK, really? I I'm alone now, find all strength to go out. I guess I need you here, yes, since you've come around. Again, with these faults in my head. I will silence fight, I just run away and hide. Searching for the limelight, I know that it's my time. Will you call me tonight? Searching for a way out. Will you call me tonight? I've been searching for a way out. Mine is metal down, got so much doubt. I'm afraid of what might come my way. Could you have realized that you should stay? Now I'm fucked up in the backseat of the rover. Lost my head of pills, yeah, I'm not sober. Only wanted to try and talk to you. Never found it easy to get through. I'm not okay, I'm finding a meaning. Are you afraid? Cause my heart been bleeding. Take me back to the time where we were alone. Fed up with boys waiting by the phone. I look too good to be hanging on to every word that comes out. Your mother crave every sound. The time on earth gets easier than you think of me. When I'm not around the Morning stars fill up only on To get my give out a long time ago Cause I see myself surrounded in flames I hope when you look you don't see the same again With these thoughts in my head I will satisfy I just run away and hide Searching for the limelight I know that it's my time Will you call me to Hell yeah. Before I get into the analysis, I would like to say 3YMZ is one of the one of the original adopters of my uh, music reaction live streams before it was uh, became what it is now when I first started out doing it. So shout out 3YMZ for being the homie, always coming through when he can. But um, I have not gotten a chance to dive deep into one of his tracks, so uh, I'm going to say everything that I think in a 
timely manner. I will say, um, when he first started submitting tracks, he seemed like he was still finding his voice or finding how to shape it to match the beats and the genres he's doing. And this was the one of the first tracks where I was like, damn, you really, you really got it down. So he's come a long way since I, uh, I've been listening to him. Right from the start, overall, I, I do think all three of them, I think they make a great team, a great trio combination. They each have a unique sound. They're all kind of in the emo world of lyrics, of styles of lyric writing, the stuff they talk about. The song's called Alone. Again, as I've said in previous, uh, the previous one, I am partial to these types of tracks because I am also deeply alone. <laughs> and uh, so this all this all resonates with me, this style, this genre. Um, it's definitely right up my alley, so of course I love the vibe. Let's get into the, the details here. The, the track starts with a one strum of the guitar and then goes right into an introductory sort of vocal background kind of vocals from either Veils or Lilac Eyes. Apologies, I'm not... I don't, I think Lilac Eyes is the third, or Veils is the third, they're ordered 3YMZ Lilac Eyes Veils, so I'm assuming Veils is the last one. I've heard his stuff before, so I, sh I guess I should know. One of those two guys are, are starting off the track in a very uh, nice, smooth way. Alone now, stuck in your house. So you get this nice... Uh, immediate sense of sadness and loneliness and it is it's it's a really great way to start this track one thing I, I overall I, I guess I was kind of saving this for the end but it's worth mentioning now the use of the layerings the vocal layerings they've done throughout the track is absolutely excellent the creative the songwriting of it all it's very good you can hear different yells and and uh groaning so right right after it comes in from it's like first guy singing by himself and then it hits us with a layer while the first guy keeps going I'm alone now, find no strength to go out. hear all those A lot of a lot of awesome layering going on there. You've got like an, an auto-tuned voice going off. You've got the lower end, and then you've got this main cutting alone now. Yeah, that 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 mid-range. It sets uh it sets a great mood for how the track comes in with three YMZ's hook right over here. So he comes in strong and it, it works quite well. You've got this, this slow build up with the layers, lots of chorusy sounding, not chorus, but like, you know, like a chorus of layers, different styles mixed in. And then it blows up right into 3YMZ's hook. It's a strong entry from a from a smooth low key intro and i think that's pretty effective so solid hook from 3ymz his own layers of his own voice are done very well They're, they come in and out at the right time it's it's very well done very well crafted and then when lilac eyes comes in i hope i'm I truly apologize if i'm mixing lilac eyes and veils up um, but the second guy comes in with a great transition for a way out. Will you call me tonight? Because that, that's how he ended it. Uh, will you call me tonight? Yeah, so that, that, that's a fantastic transition. And I think this, the second guy, it has my, my favorite part of the, of the track here. Call me tonight, I've been searching for a way out. Mine is metal down, got so much down. I'm afraid of what might come my way. Could you have realized that you should stay? Now I'm fucked up in the backseat of the Rover. Lost my head of pills, yeah, I'm not sober. It's a great, like, melody. It's got a great rhythm, flow to it. It's got that, like, angry, angsty vibe. It's, it's, uh, fucked up in the backseat of the I mean, it's classic. It's got that classic, like, early 2000s emo style, but within this uh, new hip-hop-inspired genre. It's very, 
very effective for the for fans of the genre. I'm not okay. I'm finding the meaning. Are you afraid? Cause my heart been bleeding. All those layers. Rewind it if you have to. Listen to that again. All those layers are just very well timed. There's screaming. There's yelling, but it's subtle enough to where it adds a great body to it. But it's not in your. It's not like a loud scream, like a screamo song. It's just kind of in the background with the layers, and there's other layers going on, back and forth. It's very well done. And then again from the from the third person veils, I believe. Great transition. I'm gonna stop saying the names in case I'm mixing them up. Third guy, another great transition. It's very reminiscent of the start of the track. You just got that strum of the guitar, and then the and then like some low key le uh, vocals come in. It's got that. It brings back the vibe of the intro. It builds back up just like the intro. And then back into 3YMZ's hook, and then how does it end? Solid fade out. And that covers pretty much, that covers the songwriting. Very nice arrangement. I wouldn't have done it any differently. The choice of the order of them and the transitions going from one singer, one rapper singer to the next, very smooth very effective especially for this genre and what the sound they're going for great vocal layering really fortifies the mood very well done now let's get into the quality of the track audio quality quality of the overall sound the mixing and the performance this is one of those ones where it kind of just sounds pretty solid all around it's hard to nothing jumps out super hard it's one of those ones where I, it's like, I know these guys, they, they collaborate through the internet. I'm not sure they're, they're ever meeting with each other or if any of them are in like a proper studio. So assuming that, it's really very well done, very well mixed. The levels are all great. Every, nothing's too quiet. Nothing's too loud. In my opinion, it, it all mixes well together. The layering, as I've said like 20 times already, is, is so good the way it's mixed in. The quality of the recordings, it sounds high. So what basically what I'm saying is bar going all three of them getting into a professional recording studio and doing it together like that, that probably be the only way that this would be improved. I think they did the absolute best that they could with what they're working with and how they're working together. Recording in their own home studios, whatever setups they have, whatever limitations they have, and then bringing it together through the internet, I assume. I, I, I probably should have asked, but I, I think that's how it, how it was. Let me know if I'm wrong. So yeah, I mean, quality's great probably could generally be improved if it was in a perfect like absolute professional setting but for underground tracks this is absolutely passable great quality the only as i was i was listening to it again i was trying to find out something that i could say that could be improved on and i think there's a little thing i can point out and that little thing is very subtle to i think this is actually something i said in the first real firm analysis for clay's track and it seems to uh, come up a lot people uh rushing or not their flows not being right on the beat right on tempo this one really not nothing crazy it was just i think i noticed a few parts where it could have been a little tighter and this is a this is a performance thing again i you can i think there's plugins that you can fix this with but it's very subtle let me see if i can point it out to you i i just run away and hide searching for the limelight i know that is my time will you call me tonight searching for a way so it's those, in the hook, it's those way out, limelight. There's a very, I'm detecting a very slight offset from the beat. It's kind of hard to notice, 
and it's it's definitely passable. It's not like outstanding, but I just wanted to point that out because I think that's something that can be worked on, and I think it's more of a issue of tightening up your performance when you're recording the vocals themselves. One more time, especially on the the limelight is where it really. It's very subtle. You gotta really. It's one of those things where it's the majority of people probably wouldn't even notice. And now I'm pointing it out. Sorry. Whoops. <laughs> but this is a real firm analysis, and I will I will point out everything that I personally uh, detect. Maybe other people uh, can detect even more. I don't know. But to me, that's the only thing. Is the is very very subtle tempo issues, and I bel I think I heard it one more time in one of the features. Let me see if I can find that. Yeah, right here, right after my right after my favorite part that I said was right on point. I think this is a little. It's right there, right before he says easy, easy to get through. That was right on beat, but right before that, it sounded slightly like it was slightly offset. Only wanted to try and talk to you, never found it easy to like, get through. When he's coming in from the, because there's like a the track, and then he's coming in singing over the previous a lyric. When that comes in, there's like a. It sounds to me like it slightly could have come in a little. Uh, a little tighter. That being said, all of these, especially when they're subtle, subtle things like this, it's it could also just be an artistic choice. A lot of people are doing that nowadays with like s some pitch being slightly off just to make, just give it a different vibe. And it actually works because as, as long as it's not too off to where it's like everyone's noticing it, I think it's, I think it's completely fine. There's nothing, nothing, it's not a big problem just something I figured I'd point out because that's that's pretty much the only thing I detected that sounded would be considered an objective issue not like a, a subjective like oh I like the sound and instead of oh no that's I think that's not how it's done how it's done but again even even now we, we get into that because it's art it can be done however you want it's just the point it the bottom line is do the majority of people that hear it fuck with it do they are they noticing it? Are they hearing it and being like, oh, that sounds a little off every time? Probably not. I've heard this track many times, and that doesn't come into my head every time. Now that I'm doing the analysis, I'm really getting deep into it, so that's a different story. But yeah, if you have any of these small issues, it really doesn't matter, because as I listen to it, the more I listen to it, the more it doesn't, it doesn't, I barely notice it. So not not many points off for that at all, I will say. I believe that covers pretty much everything I have time to get into. Um, again, love the vibe, real firm vibe, great uh, lyrics, fantastic job of crafting that emo type sound with all those layers the screaming in the background the two features who have very complimentary vo voices 3ymz who has much different sound but it's very complimentary as well i believe it's he has a lot of softer voice but he's he made it he bolstered it with the layers it came through solid excellent vibe in my opinion i very much enjoy quality real firm quality as well aside from the slight flow on point stuff I was talking about. For the most part, everything's on point. Very subtle things that you could nitpick and notice, like I said, but I wouldn't worry about it. This is uh, this is a solid track. Alone, 3YMZ official, Lilac Eyes, Veils, but whoever made the beat, great beat. 3YMZ, Lilac Eyes, Veils, Underground, Emo Style, most of the time. I think they do other stuff too. Excellent trio, you guys should definitely keep working together. I like your styles. So that'll be it for this Real Firm analysis. Thank you to 3YMZ for submitting the last of three that I've gotten from the first experimental call to action to submit. Again, there's going to be another one probably up now. As you're watching this, check the Instagram at Real Firm Audio. Unless you're watching this several days later. Submit your track. It might get reviewed here. And that's all I gotta say. Thank you very much for watching. Check out Upcoming Artist Radio Live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 p.m. ES Eastern Standard Time. Daylight savings happen, so it might be might seem different for some international people. I don't know. That is the schedule as of now. Come through, get your track heard by uh, a live chat audience, whatnot. Quick reaction, couple of words. 
not as deep as this. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Have a good one. Peace. Now I'm fucked up in the backseat of the Rover. Lost my head of pills, yeah, I'm not sober. Only wanted to try and talk to you. Never found it.